Uh, yo guys, what's up? This is Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. Nexus 10, you want to root it? I'll show you how. Now this process is very easy thanks to a toolkit developed by XA4 member, mskip. Like always, I'm not responsible to anything that you might do to your device, so perform this whole procedure at your own risk. And let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is enable USB debugging. To enable USB debugging, go to your settings, go down here to about tablet, and right where it says build number, tap on it multiple times, and bam, developer options will appear right there, and hit developer options, and go to USB debugging, and hit OK. So once again, to about tablet, tap build number multiple times, developer options will appear, go to developer options, hit USB debugging, and then you can connect your tablet to your computer. All right, now let's open up the toolkit. You have to go through a quick installation, and OK, it's going to start ADB. It's going to ask you if you want to update the program. If you want to, then hit yes. I'm going to hit no. All right, and right here it's going to ask you for your model and build number. So to get to your model and build number, go to your tablet and go to settings. Go to about tablet and look for first your Android version 4.2.2 and your build number. For me, it's JDQ39. So for me, that is option number 13, and that might be for you if you're running Android 4.2.2. I'm going to type in 13 and hit enter. And it's going to download the required files needed, so just let it do its thing right now. Alright, now we're going to be at the main menu screen. Now, it's going to say list of devices attached in ADB mode, and hopefully you see the serial number of your device. However, if you notice next to it, it does say offline, and that's just a jelly bean issue. So to solve this, what we're going to do is go back to our tablet, what we're going to do is go back to our tablet, disconnect it, then reconnect it, and it's going to ask to allow us to allow USB debugging. It's going to it's going to inquire on the computer, and it's going to say pretty much it wants to connect to the tablet. So you can hit always for this computer and hit OK. And now back on our toolkit, we can go and hit option number 27, to refresh it. And there we go, it says device. So you have refreshed the device and we're all ready to unlock the bootloader. Okay, so what we're gonna do is begin to unlock our bootloader. Now let's go to main menu. Unlocking the bootloader is option number three. However, we do have to be in fast boot mode to do so. To put your tablet into fast boot mode, do this. You want to go to your tablet, you can shut it down as normal, power off, tablet will shut down, and keep your cord connected right there, keep your USB cord connected. Alright, so once it's off, you want to hold down the volume up, volume, volume up, volume down, and power button. So I know that's a lot, but just try to hold all of them at the same time. Here we are, and we are in fast boot mode. Okay, so now we can go back to the program, and we're gonna hit option number three. And it's asking us, are we sure we wanna unlock the bootloader? This will erase everything on our device, so make sure you have everything backed up. And yes, we do wanna unlock. All right, and it's pretty much asking us, are we ready to continue with the process? And hit yes, okay. And on our device, it's going to ask us, do we want to unlock the bootloader? And are we sure we want to do this? And yes, we are. So use the volume rocker, navigate to up, up to yes, and hit the power button for yes. Alright guys, so what we have to do is, now this seems a little silly, but we actually have to get the menu to show on our tablet. Now, to do this is a little difficult. I've already done this probably like 20 times and still did not get it right. So I'm just like waiting for the moment I get it. But you have to turn your tablet portrait-wise. And then you have to press the and hold the power button, but press the volume up button real quickly. So there we go. Woo, we got it. All right. So to get this working, like I said, I don't know if you kind of caught what I just did there, but you have to turn your tablet this way, um, and then you have to press your and hold your power button, and then quickly press. Is actually a volume down button, but I guess it's a volume up button. I don't know, but Press and hold your power button, then quickly press your top volume rocker right here, the very top one. 
So once again, press and hold that and quickly like tap and press this one and the menu will come up. Like I said, it's very annoying and definitely not <laughs> the easiest thing to do. Inside the menu, what we're going to do is navigate down to Wipe Data Factory Reset. So let's just use Volume Rocker, navigate down to there and use the power button to select it. And then you're going to go to Yes, Wipe, Delete All User Data, Yes, and it's going to format all the data. Alright, and once that's done, we can go and just reboot our tablet. So, Reboot System Now, and it's going to reboot. All right, so once that's done, once that's done, we go back to our main menu here, hit any key, and it's going to return main menu. So congratulations, your device is now officially unlocked. Um, so yeah, that was just part one of this. Now we actually have to go about the rooting process. So rooting it, as we can see, number two, we have to go back into fast boot mode, our favorite mode to work with here. So what we can do is go back to your tablet, and even while your tablet's rebooting, you don't have to wait for it to actually come back to um, the home screen. Uh, we want to press and hold all three of these buttons. So power, volume up, volume down button. And we're back in fast boot mode. Alright, so real quickly, after we run through the setup here, we want to go back and go to settings. Uh, about tablet. And once again, to get the developer options, hit the build number multiple times. We have developer options. And we go and check USB debugging and hit OK. And hit always allow this connection. And hit OK. Alright, so now what you have to do is go back to your tablet and enable USB debugging again. Um, and now what we can do is we want to flash a recovery. So we're going to go to option 6. Now we have to be back in fast boot mode. So remember, to get back in fast boot mode, you want to hold down the power, volume up, and volume down rocker on your device. And now it should bring you back to fast boot mode. I just did that. Now we're going to go down here to option number six. I prefer a Team One Recovery project, so I'm going to go to Team One Recovery number two. I'm going to hit yes, and it's going to flash the Touch Recovery Team One Recovery, and it's great. And it's flashed that. Return to main menu, and we're all set. Now we have a recovery installed. So there we go. We just flashed recovery, and that was a painless process. All right, now what we can do is go to option number four, which is rooting our device. So hit four, hit enter. And for rooting options, it's gonna give us a lot of options. We wanna boot custom recovery into our roots, um, boot custom recovery, um, a lot. I mean, it gives us all these different options here. Let's go to option number two, root device and install BusyBox. And it's gonna ask us what super user method do we wanna use, whether not chain fire or chain as chains DD. I'm gonna go to option number two, cause I just know, you know, heard of chain fire before. So I'm like, let's go with that. Okay, and we're gonna continue procedure. Yes. Have we already locked the bootloader? Yes, we have. It detected our USB debugging is enabled and is rebooting us back in the fast boot. So I think this program does a really good job at catching us on any mistake we could possibly make. And there we go, it just booted, it just flashed the boot image off really quickly. Um, so right now on tablet, we're back into our fast boot mode and we're currently rebooting on the tablet and it's waiting for our device again. And it's going through the stuff on a tablet, push necessary files, root procedures complete, and it's just going through all of its other stuff right here. All right, and the easiest way to check we have root, we can download this app, Root Checker. All right, so check we have root, we can just hit verify root access. And we see that window, grant, and we have root. So we know our device is rooted and everything works. So there you go guys, this has been a very uh, kind of long tutorial, but still useful tutorial on how to root and unlock your Nexus 10. Like I said, um, the process is fairly easy. Probably the hardest thing about this was the whole um, menu thing with the bootloader. Uh, but other than that, it's very easy and straightforward. And a big shout out to MSkip for developing this easy to use toolkit. I mean, definitely go and donate to him and, uh, for further development. And like I said, hopefully you made it through here and it all worked out for you. So guys, thanks for watching and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to go down there and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to stay updated with my latest videos, go up there and hit that subscribe button. You can also find me on Twitter at TheDaveGeek along with Facebook and Google+. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more galvanizing videos. Thanks.